Hello, you're welcome to Chemistry Hangout. I want to believe you're fine today. If you are just watching this YouTube channel for the very first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. This is one of the best channel as far as chemistry content is concerned. You're welcome. The subscribers, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your coming. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I love you guys. Very quickly today for the NECO students, you know, I promised in my last video that I'm going to you know, upload the content for NECO. And here I am to actually see what I actually predicted for NECO exam and to always guide us the way I do so that we can gain confidence before and after the exam. So if you are a NECO student, sit down, you know, take a seat. And if you have your popcorn, you can change your popcorn, okay? And pay attention to what I'll be doing. I'll give some instructions. I will solve the way I used to do. And if you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. Very, very important. I've said this and I'll say it again. What we do on this channel, we are not guaranteeing that it will be 100% accurate. These are predictions. But if you can follow the steps here on this channel, this channel has been a blessing to many because they have been following the instructions on this channel. So if you can follow the instructions here, the teachings here on this channel, I tell you, you're not going to find the exam very, very difficult. And that's why most times I will always do the live practical. I will always do it just to, you know, give us confidence, to give us that, you know, courage to motivate us that this exam, you don't really need anybody to assist you in the exam. You can always do it yourself. So welcome for the NACO students. And if you are secondary school student, it's going to be a benefit for you too. Even if you have done by like, all these things, are still things you're going to do when you get into school. So you need to pay maximum attention to them. So very important, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have for our NACO student titration. This is the titration video. So, I said there is a solution containing 1.96 per 500 centimeter key of a 2 so solution. B is a solution of unknown concentration of sodium carbonate put A into the bullet and titrate against 20 or 25 centimeter key of B using material range as the indicator. Record the volume of the pipe and tabulate your readings. Okay, from there, these are the questions they ask us to do. So, I will do the titration like I normally do. So, just follow me. I'm going to do that very, very fast very very fast so this is my funnel already let me just so this is my acid now in the burette okay so let's start very quickly so that we don't waste our time okay let's go to the zero mark okay so very, very important, remember to remove your funnel. Okay, let me adjust this. Let me adjust this, okay? And, okay, the numbering, let me adjust the numbering to myself here, okay? Okay, so, so let's have our table. Let's have our table, our bullet readings, okay? Let's have our bread readings, let's have our final readings, okay? We have our initial readings, okay? We have our rough, very important is centimeter cube. We have our first is centimeter cube. We have our second two is centimeter cube, okay? So we have this. Rule of a rock first. Very important, please endeavor to tabulate your readings. Very important, correct readings in centimeter cube. All these things carry one. Don't forget your unit. So, our initial readings will be 0 0.00 because I refer to the zero mark. So, let me pipette my, my base. So, this is my base. Into this, so this is just a practical representation of what 
you are expected to do your various centers okay so any of the indicator they ask you to use on that day just use it and you know titrate normally like the way i'm doing so me i'm using material orange so from one or two you can see you can see okay so let's start my titration Can you see that now? Can you see the color change now? Very important. Let me adjust so I can see. Good. Can you see the color change? Okay. So I have 21.70. Okay. I have 21.70. Okay. Let me refill again. Very important. Let me refill because I'm seeing the numbers are high. Okay. And you know the volume of the Burette is there are 50. So let me just let me refill. So I'll refill. Let me straight to my, my burette. So let me bring this. Okay, so that's the that's the rough. So I'll refill again using this. I'll refill. Let me adjust this down a bit. Okay. So I'll refill. Okay. So let me run. So it be a zero mark. Perfect. Okay. So don't forget to remove your funnel. Very important. So I pipe it again. So all those things are what you can actually do yourself. That's the reason why we are always doing the practical life on this channel. Okay, so it's just for us to gain confidence. We can do all these things ourselves in our various center. One, two. So you can see the color yellow, then we start titrating. So the, the reason why I'm fast like that is because I already have, you know, I already have an inch of where it's likely to change, but still pay attention to it. Very important. Let me pay maximum attention to this. Now, can you see that? Yeah, I just hope you didn't check. Okay, this is 21.50. Okay, 21.50. Can you see that now? So, let me refill again. Let me refill. Let me refill. You can see these things are what we can actually do ourselves in our various centers. Okay, let me. Perfect. Okay, let me throw this in. Let me dispose this. Okay. And that's the second one. 
So don't forget to remove your funnel. So let's titrate our base again. see is what you can do yourself you can actually do these things yourself okay let's go again let's go See that now, very obvious. Now. Okay, let me see again. Wow, it's one point. This four zero. Okay, I think I'll, I'll do one again to be sure. You can see, I'll do. Let me do another one, which is third. Which is zero zero. So let me do another one. Now I'm fond of always doing two, but let me let me just do this, so I will be sure. I'll be sure because it's between this and this, so let me be sure. So I will do the last one now. Let me dispose this since I still have enough acid. But if you don't have enough acid in your centers, you can do two actually. But I'm sure your center should provide you with around one DMT of this, so you should have enough acid to, type, to actually carry out the titration. So let me do one again. So all these things are simple. And that's the reason why we always do it on this channel. I'm fond of doing the practical to help us with a lot of confidence, okay? So, let me remove my phone now. So, let's do the last one now. Let's try to it again. Avoid bubbles, very important. Avoid bubbles. Okay, let me pipe it again. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so let's so let's take the last one. Two drops, one, two. You can see that. So we'll go again. Okay, let me go gently now so I can be sure. Gently and drop and drop. Okay. I'm going gently, I want to be sure. Okay? Okay. So let me see. 21.5. It's 1.5. I'm be sure. Okay. So I think I'm okay with that now. 7.0 is also 21.5. Can you see that now? So, you know, we can have volume of acid used. So, I can have 21.70, and 21.50, and 21.40, and 21.50. I think this is clear. I want to believe this is very clear. So, from there, I can now calculate the average volume. So, I'll pick this because these are closer. This is a bit far from others. So, these are closer. So I can now have average volume of acid used. So I can have 
plus 21.40 plus 21.503. So my average volume of acid unit. So which means that you know if you are doing two in your cell, you are doing three, that's the wrong first and second. You take your first and second, you divide by two. Okay, so but I'm divided by three because I two. Okay, so 21.50 plus 21.40 plus 21.50 divided by 3. So that's 21.4666. So let me just say 21.47 centimeters. I think this is clear. Okay, so you can see all these things are not actually difficult. There are things we can actually do in our various centers. Okay. And actually do all these things in a very simple So from there, let's now go to the calculation now. Very important. Don't forget your volume of pipettes. Very important. Your volume of pipettes. Very important. We use 25 centimeter cube. Okay. Don't forget your indicator. All this thing must be recorded. That's methyl orange. So if in the question they ask you to use phenotaphine, you record. Phenotaphine there, okay. If you are in your center, if your volume of pipettes that the pipettes are using, if it is 20, you record 20, but in most schools, we use 25. In most schools, so when you can check, then you record. That's very good, okay. From your result and information provided, calculate one concentration of A in mole per day, okay. So let's start from there. One, we divide this concentration of A in mole per day, okay. Concentration. Of A in mole per DMP. Now let's go to A. What is the information? I've told you, pay attention to the information given in the question. That's just how to get all those things. Pay attention to the questions given to you so that you can know how to get us. They said A is a solution containing 1.96 gram, okay, per 500. Can you see? And the question is saying we should look for concentration of A in mole per DMP. So they gave us this mass, 1.96 gram, in 500. So what do I do? I need to convert this to 1,000 first. Then I cannot look for concentration of A in more per DMP. So anyone giving to us, maybe they gave us in 250, in 750, we need to convert. But if the question is 1.96 gram per DMP, then I don't need to convert this again because it's already in what? In DMP. Do you get that? I need to convert that because it's 1.96 per 500. So what will I do? I'll say 1.96 is in what is in 500 centimeter cube. Okay, 1,000 centimeter cube, which is one dm cube. We contain x. Can you see that? So our x will be 1.96 times 1,000 over 500. So our x is going to be what? Let's see. 1.96 times 1,000, divide 500. So we have 3.92. Can you see that we have 3.92 gram? Can you see that? We have 3.92 gram, which means we have 3.92 gram in one DM cube. Can you see that it's clear? So what they said, you should look for the concentration in mole per DM cube, so which means we have gotten the mass. We have gotten the mass in DM cube now, can you see that? So we cannot convert to mole. So we know that our mole, okay, is equal to what our mass over what molar mass. And very good, they gave us H2SO4, meaning we can calculate the molar mass. And all these things are given here, you can see hydrogen is given, sulfur is given. So I'll just say molar mass of H2SO4. Is going to be 1 times 2 plus 32 plus 16 times 4. Let's see that now. If we do that with our calculator, that will be 2 plus 32 plus 64. That's giving us 98. So we have 2 plus 32 plus 64. So the molar mass of H2SO4, molar mass is going to be 98 gram per mole. Can you see that now? So our mole now. Can now be what is our mass? Can you see we are getting our mass? Don't forget that our mass now is per DMQ. You get that because this gram now is now in 1000 DM or 1000 centimeter cube, so that is clear. 
So we can now have 3.92 okay, gram per DMP over 98 gram per mole. Can you see that now? So gram will cancel gram. So our mole is going to be 3.92. 3.92 divide 98 and that's giving us 0 0.04 as a 0 mole per dm. You see, for even from the unit, you can see very clear. You can see this is very clear. So the next one is said concentration of B in mole per dm. Let's go to B. B is a solution of unknown concentration of NH2CO3. You can see they didn't give us any information about B, no mass, no. They didn't give us mass. We can only calculate the molar mass because all these things are given. But we don't have the mass and we have to look for the mole. So what do we do? We move to our titration formula. So using for the second one now, CAVA over CBVB equals NA over NB. Can we see that now? So what is our CA? It's got to already 0 0.40 times volume of acid 21.47 over concentration of base, that's what we are looking for, times volume of base, that's 25, is equal to 1 over 1. How do I get that? Come to equation of reaction, you can see, the most of H2SO4 that you have is 1, more of sodium carbonate you have is 1. You can see 1, 1, so that's one. It's like that. So my CB becomes 0 0.040 times 21.47 times 1 over 25 times 1. Can you see that now? So from there, let's see 0 0.040 times 21.47 times 1 over 25. So that's giving me 0 0.034. So my CB is 0 0.034. Mole per DMQ. This is something. Can you see that? Okay. Next one, they said three. Concentration of B in gram per DMQ. Can you see? We have gotten it in mole per DMQ, so we can convert it. In. So we say our mole, that's the third one. We say our mole again is what is our mass over our molar mass. I hope this is clear. So from there, we can now have that our molar mass, molar mass of, of what? Of Na to CO3. All these things are given here. Sodium, that's 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 times 3. Okay, that gives us 46 plus 12 plus 48. I hope this is clear. So from there, we can now have that 46 plus 12 plus 48 that's giving us 106 so molar mass of Na to CO3 is equal to 106 gram per mole can you see very clear okay so what is our mass now because that's us to look for it in gram per DMP so our mass will now be making our mass subject formula we are going to have mole times molar mass okay so from there, we can now have our mass to be, what's our mole? 0 0.034 times 106. So our mass will be times 0 0.034. That's giving us 3 point, approximately 3.6, maybe 3.6 gram per dm. This is clear. I want to believe this is clear, very clear. Okay, let's move on. The fourth one, they said the amount in moles of acid in the average titan. Look at the statement. The amount in moles of acid in the average titan. So that's the fourth one, the amount in moles. So how do we calculate amount in moles? That's N equals to CV. I think I've done this before on my channel, if you have been following my channel. But don't forget that your, that's the concentration in the average titan. So we, we can have our N to be, what is the concentration of the acid now? Let's scan to concentration of the acid, that's our CA. You can see 0.040, so we have 0 
0.040 times in the average titan, not in the one day MQ, in the average titan, the average titan is 21.47. Do you see that now? So, but our, our concentration here, you can see our concentration is in mole per dm cube. Okay? Our volume here is in centimeter cube. So, we need to divide, we need to convert, we need to divide by 1000. So, that's why you see most times when we do amount in moles, they tell you CV over 1000. How the 1000 came is because we are now converting back because our amount is going to be in mole. So, this one is in mole, look at that, this one is in mole per. DNP. Can you see? This one is a centimeter key. Do you see that now? So we have to convert because our answer will be in mole. So to convert the centimeter key to DNP, we have to divide by 1000. So this is clear. So from there, our N is going to be 0 0.040 times 21.47. Okay, divide 1000. That will give me. 0 0.000 okay 0 0.008 let me just say 59 moles so that is that so that is the amount in mold so the fifth one is still saying the same thing that amount of moles of base in the volume of B pipette do you remember that the volume of B pipette out of the B I prepared was what 25. So that follows the same method too. N is equal to C V. Okay. So our N will be most of let me indicate it most of N to N so form. So that I can know that is for passing. So C V, what is the concentration of, of the base? That's what 0 0.034 times what is the volume now? 25. Because that, that was the amount I pipetted over 1,000. So our N is going to be 0 0.034 times 25 divided 1,000. That's giving me 0. Point, let me do it again. 0 0.034 0 0.034 times 25 divide 1000. Okay, that's 0 0.000085 moles of NA2CO. I hope this is clear. No, this one can be approximately 0 0.00086, while this one is 0 0.00085 moles of that. Okay. I think this is clear. What's the next question? The next question says the number of hydrogen is only 1.0 DMP of the solution. Don't forget that the acid we are talking about is H2SO4. So if they ask the number of hydrogen ion, I know that an acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ion or hydrogen ion as is only positive ion when dissolved in water. So if there's hydrogen ion, definitely they are referring to the acid. So don't forget that the acid there, that's VI now. The acid here is H2SO4. And if this dissociate is going to give us 2 hydrogen ion plus SO4 to minus. This is dissociation reaction. I hope this is clear. So from there, what can we infer from this? We can infer that one mole okay, of H2SO4 liberated what two moles of hydrogen ion of this, can you see that? So from here, if one mole of H2SO4 liberated two moles of hydrogen ion, our concentration of acid here, look at that, one is 0 0.040B. So one mole liberated this, so 0 0.040 will be what will be X. So from there, our X will be 0 0.040 times 2. And what would that give us? 0 0.040 times 2. That will give us 0 0.08 moles of hydrogen in your ice cap. So, this is sorted. Now, for this now, don't forget that they said the number of hydrogen in your in one mole of the solution. So, it's 0 0.08 moles of hydrogen in your. But remember that one mole of every substance 
is 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23. That's the Avogadro number. So I will say one mole, okay, is equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23 AO. Can you see that now? So our 0 0.08, which is in the HSO4 now, is in what is X. So we have to pay attention to all these. They are very, very important. So from there, we are going to have X to be 0 0.08 times 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23. Can you see that now? So our X will be 0 0.08 times 6.02. That will give us 0 0.4. 816 times 10 raised to the power 23 aeons. Or you can still write it as 4.816 times 10 raised to the power 22 aeons. We are still saying the same thing. So either this or this is very, very important. Okay, so please you need to pay attention to all this. Very important. Why the last question? That's B I I now, which is the last question. The volume of CO2 liberated. Don't forget in the equation of reaction, one mole of this liberated one mole of CO2. Can see that? One mole of this liberated one mole of CO2. So if one mole, if one mole of Na2CO3 liberated one mole of CO2, okay? It implies that, it implies that zero point, where is my, you know, this is for my CB, 0 0.034. Don't forget, this is my CA. This is my CA. This is my CB. It means that if one more library is 0 0.034, okay? How's that? Okay, this is for, okay, 0 0.034. 0 0.034. We also liberate what? 0 0.034 mole of CO2. This stoichiometry, very important. I think this is clear. One mole of this liberate one mole of this. B is 0 0.034 of this, we liberate 0 0.034 of this. I, I want to believe that's clear. And we know that one mole of a substance is what? 22.4 dmq. Molar volume of gases we have been given. Can you see? Molar volume of gases. So 0 0.034 is going to be what? It's going to be x. You can see this calculation. So our x is 0 0.034 times 22.4. So 0 0.034 times 22.4. That's going to give us 0 0.7616 dnq. Now, the concluding part, very important. Look at this. It's giving us 0 0.7616 dnq. That is in one dm cube. But do you remember that the volume of sodium carbonate with pipetted is not 1 dm cube, it's 25. And the person is saying, the person is saying volume of CO2 liberated. Can you see that? So it was not 1 dm cube of this reduced, it was 25 of it. So the concluding part of this is now going to be, okay, the concluding part of this will now be, will now be for this now, is 0 0.7616 okay 0 0.7616 that's that's what we have in what in one dm cube which is 1000 centimeter cube do you understand so we had this volume that we had here was the one we had in 1000 centimeter cube which is one dm cube so in the 25 that we pipetted we are going to have what x can you see that now? So our x now is 0 0.7616 times 25 divided by 1,000. So the concluding part is now this. So what are we going to have? Let's see. So we're going to have 0 0.7616 okay, times 25 divided by 1,000. And that's giving us, that's giving us, and our x is giving us 0 0.01904 dnq. So if you want to convert to centimeter cube, just multiply by 1,000. Then you can have an answer in centimeter cube. I don't know if we are getting that. So very, very important. That's how this calculation goes. So you need time to, you know, 
You need time to meditate on all these things. Very, very important. You need time to meditate on all these things. And very important, I, let me quickly chip in this. Let me chip in this. You know, that's just the question I predicted. But if the question comes like this, look at it. If the question comes like this, that you have, you have 3.92 gram, you have 3.92 gram of H2SO4, okay? And you have, you have, what is my that? Okay, you have 3.6 gram of x 2 CO3. Can you see that? The question can come like this. We are the reaction to looking for X. Can come like that. If you want to solve this, I've said this on this channel, I've solved questions like this. What do you need to do? If you need to solve this, that means you need to get the mole of this first. But if you get the mole of this, that will be that will still be the same, which is this. Can you see that? After getting that, you're not going to use because here now. You don't have the mode. You are not going to use this formula to get what to get this. You can see. You will get this with this formula. You know you don't need any information for this. So if you now want to get this, what will you now do? You now come and say because the, you, you cannot calculate the molar ma mass like this. That's if the question comes like this. You cannot calculate the molar mass like this because x you don't know what x is. So I will just come and say my molar mass, my molar mass. That will now be my mass over mole. Can you see that now? Because we know that our mole is equal to mass over molar mass. So making molar mass, because for you to get x, you need to know the molar mass. So the molar mass will now be, what is your mass? They're giving you your mass, 3.6, can you see? Over what is the mole you got? The mole you got is what? Is 0 0.034, 0 0.034. Can you see that now? So from there, if you divide, if you divide, what are, what are you going to have? You are going to have 3.6 divided 0 0.034. You are going to have 105. So the molar mass is going to be around 105.8.8. Or let me say 0.9, according to what I have here. 105.9. Can you see that? That would be gram per mole. Can you see that now? So from there, you can now get x. You now say x to CO3 is equal to 105.9. 105.9 approximately, that's 106. Can you see that now? So from there, you can now have x2 plus, they'll give you this, that's 12 plus 16 times 3 equals to 106. Can you see? So we have, this will now be 2x plus 12 plus 48, you have 106. Can you see that? So from there, you are, you are now going to have 2x equals to 48 plus this. So you have 48 plus 12. 48 plus 12. That will give you 60, 106. So if it comes here, it will be 106 minus 60. Can you see that now? So our 2x will now be minus 60 that will give us 46 can you see that now so our x will be 46 over 2 so our x will be 23 can you see so which element has the atomic mass of 23 that's sodium is the x so the person can come in here just understand this test he can be he can be giving this okay why this will be the x just know that if they give you the mass, okay, if the mass is given, then you will now need to calculate this, use this formula again to get the concentration of A, then do your formula like that and you get your answer. And that's how it works. That's how this question works. You can see. So this is a comprehensive study. You need to sit down, you know, you need to sit down, go over it over and over and over again. And that's why on this channel we believe in doing the practical and giving us a lot of ways by which the question can come so that we can be confident, you know, of doing well in the exam. And that's why we urge you, if you are a first timer on this channel, we urge you to subscribe to this channel. There are more content coming. There are more practicals loading, and you cannot afford to miss it. So, if you are writing NECO, if you are a white student, you can go over this. These are things you are still going to do when you get your tertiary institutions in your other level. You are still going to do all this thing. If you are writing NECO, sit down and you know digest this, ruminate over it, solve questions. If you have comments, let me have it in the comment box section. 
I will, I will reply you as fast as I can. So, and that's the reason why we do all this thing on this channel to, to make you guys gain confidence in, to make you gain confidence of you doing well in the exam. And that is that for this. So, go over this again. The question can come like this, can come like the first one. Just know a whole lot of areas the question can come and now you can tackle it. And, you know, I promise that if you do all these instructions, you know, study all these things I've, I've actually taught on this channel, you are not going to have a single problem in the examination. You can actually do these things yourself. That's why you have prepared this region and have carried out the practical. So very, very important. And summarily or in conclusion, the title value, you know, I've said that that my title value, it doesn't matter. I've said it over and over on this channel. Your teacher is having a confidential report. He will fill the type, the title value he has for your center. So carry out the titration in your center. Just you know how to do the titration. Don't be bothered by maybe your title value over there is not the same with this. Just the calculation is always the same. Mole is always equal to mass of molar mass, irrespective of your title value. Okay, so make do with the title value in your center. Don't be bothered about your title value there, different from my title value. You know, your teacher is going to fill a confidential report and I'm sure he's going to guide you, he or she is going to guide you well. So, very, very important. Don't bother about the, the title value. Make do with title value in your center, but just carry out the titration like this. Get the calculations like this and I tell you, a is sure for you. So, very, very important. Go about this again. It might take time before you understand all this, you know. Take your time. Take a jot. I write these questions and I practice them. You have, I think you have some days or some weeks to actually practice this. So, you can actually do it yourself. So, very, very important. You can do it yourself. And that's what we're always saying on this channel. As a student, you don't really need somebody to help you. You don't really need to engage in examination by practice. All what you are going to do at least 70 percent of it is what we are going to do on this channel so if you digest it if you ruminate over it then you are going to you know you are going to smile out of the examination hall. so very important before i go for teachers the video training of how to prepare laboratory reagents is very very important you know as teachers we need all those things we need to be master of our subject to help ourselves and help, and to actually guide the students all right very important we help ourselves to become mastery in this you know in all these practicals and we can you know, we can guide the student all right so if you feel you need it there are a lot of things in that very particular video training how to prepare indicators how to prepare molarity of acid how to prepare molarity of base there are a lot of things in the in the video training even if you check my past video how to prepare laboratory there's a video there you can check it so that you can know all what this very particular video training is about. You can check my previous video, how to prepare laboratory reagent. That's Teacher's Guide 2023, is there. So you can check some of my videos, you'll find it there. And if you feel you need that very particular video, I'm sure if you are a teacher, you are just teaching, just came into the teaching profession, especially chemistry educators, you're going to need all those things. You need them to be able to guide the student. All right, so my number is on the screen. You can chat me with the number you are seeing. I will drop a link to in the comment box section so that you can chat me directly if you feel you need it. You need it. And if you go through the training, you're going to like it. You're going to enjoy it. It's, 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 it's packed. It's well packed. You're going to enjoy it. And then 500 plus teachers have had access to it and the review has been my growing. So we we'll keep doing all those things to actually make us gain mastery in chemistry as chemistry teacher. So, NECO student for titration, this is what you need to study, this is what you need to understand, do them over and over again, and you would be fine. So stay tuned as you go through this, as you ruminate over it, stay tuned before you now, I will still drop a video for the qualitative analysis. A bit tricky, but you're gonna get my prediction on the qualitative analysis, that is sub analysis for NECO. So stay tuned. I love you. Subscribe to the channel. I love you. Thank you.